Hi, I'm Katrina Bastos. I'm from Tallahassee, Florida, and I'm 18 years old. Um, I'm going to college this fall and, at Appalachian State University in North Carolina. Um, in 2008, I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. Um, when I was diagnosed with diabetes, it was kind of um, almost depressing in a way because I was 16 and almost on top of the world and now someone's telling me that I have to watch my sugar and watch what I eat and I can't eat certain things and it was really difficult for me to um, almost not feel left out in a way because I was going to sleepovers and all my friends are eating chips and cookies and I knew I couldn't eat that or else I would feel sick so it kind of made me sad and not as much of a kid as I wanted to be. Um, my blood sugars at first were in the higher 100s, but then they started to escalate into the 300s, 400s, and um, got pretty close to 500 a couple of times. And um, that was always scary for me um, to always have to test it and keep track of myself and have to figure out how much insulin to give myself. And it was stressful. <laughs> Um, a day in the life of a type 1 diabetic is um, you have to test your sugar before and after each meal and sometimes in between. Um, so that's eight, nine, ten times a day depending on how many times you're eating. Um, and you have to give your insulin um, in the morning, at night, and then before the meals as well. So it's a lot of pricking yourself everywhere and giving yourself shots all day. So it's, it's really limiting and it's not pleasant at all. Um, I was told to take fast acting and long acting insulin. So the long acting insulin I would take in the morning um, about 25 units and 25 units at night. And then depending on what I was eating, I would give myself up to 36 um, units of the fast-acting insulin before each meal. And then um, if my sugar didn't go down enough, I would have to give myself more to get it down to an acceptable level. If I didn't take the insulin shots, my sugar would go up. Um, I could, with high blood sugar, you can feel sick. Um, I would feel extremely nauseous. and. Um, tired and um, you can become hospitalized if you don't control the sugar levels. Um, we started the pH miracle program at home um, trying to do the shakes and the salts, the clay, um, the greens. Um, we did the chlorophyll but not as much as we do here. Um, so when we made the decision to come here, it was really just to like, push it to where we could get it out of the way so that I was healed enough to where when I went home, it was easier to keep it up and um, continue my healing at home. I didn't really see that much of a difference. Um, I think it's because we weren't doing it as extensively as you do here. Um, we also were eating protein still and um, we did the vegetables but it just it's not the same as coming here. Um, here at the Rancho del Sol um, we were on an all-liquid diet my mom and I. Um, she came as a companion but then she also ended up doing the diet as well. Um, so we have our green soups, green shakes, um, we have to drink the green juice. Um, it's really easy once you get used to it and once you start eating all the foods you start to like them even more and the cravings for different foods kind of start going away and then it's not as hard anymore. I was at the ranch for seven days and the first day that I started the program I already didn't have to use insulin. My sugars were already down to um, I think it was about 140 and um, as the week progressed it just went lower and lower and 95, 85. Um, when I got here, um, actually the first night that I got here it was 
170 when I tested it, so I did give myself insulin, but then from then on, I haven't taken it, and I don't plan on taking it for the rest of my life, so um, I'm going to stay green and try to keep it up. Um, now I'm in the eighth day of the PH Miracle program, and I haven't taken any insulin. Um, when I used to take about 140 units of insulin a day, so it's really great. And I'm really excited about that. The fact that we were able to cure the, in, the type 1 diabetes, it really gives me a much more positive outlook on my life because I know that I'm not going to be held back by something as petty as an insulin shot or um, always having to monitor my sugars and really not feeling well all the time. So um, I'm excited to think about how this lifestyle is going to change everything and it's just a whole life of well-being and feeling better, so. Um, all my life it was really hard to lose weight. Um, that was attributed to diabetes, thyroid problems, um, a whole bunch of things, but the weight never came off. So when I got here, I was actually able to lose about nine pounds in the week that I was here, which is amazing. So I'm hoping to keep losing more and um, be at a healthier weight level. <laughs> so not only am I off of my thyroid medication, I'm off of my insulin, I'm losing weight, and I'm feeling so much better than I was when I was taking all of the medicines and not losing weight. So. When I was on the insulin, um, the sugar levels never really balanced out. So I would have a high and then I would feel tired and then it would drop really low and I would be shaky and feel weak. And um, so all day my energy levels were just down and like I'm not a sad person. Like I like to go out, I like to be with my friends. So it was hard for me to be so tired and feel so weak and then still not be able to do what I wanted or be at the level that all of my friends were and trying to keep up with them. So um, ever since I've been at the ranch, my energy has just been so much better and um, like I've been able to run, like I run to all of my treatments and, um, and that's been really great for me because I enjoy doing physical activity. I just could never do it because I was so tired. When I was taking my insulin, I was always held back by where I could go because I was always having to carry around a little lunch box with a, like an ice pack and the insulin and the needles and everywhere, even when I travel. And then it's always like kind of an issue at airports and um, they have to look at my bag. And it's, it's such a hassle that isn't necessary. It's stressful because nobody wants to be stopped at the airport. Nobody wants to be held back by having to keep the insulin cold all the time. And, you know, what if I wanted to go hiking for three weeks? Like, I wouldn't be able to do that because I would have to keep the insulin cold. And it was, it was sad because I didn't want to have to worry about that all of the time. Now that I don't have to worry about the insulin so much, I feel... I feel like myself almost because I don't have to worry about my health as much. Now that I've been on the program, um, I would definitely recommend it to anyone who has type 1 diabetes or is even just not feeling well. Um, it's really an energizing program and once you start seeing your results, which happen almost immediately, um, even the small things, it's so much more encouraging. and. Uh, who doesn't want to feel better? I mean, it's it's a it's an alternative to insulin, and to me that was a big deal, um, because I had a fear of needles and not having to do that. It's it's worth it. It's worth everything. I did not expect my sugar to go down to 85 within three days of doing the program. Um, I've never had an 85 blood sugar without insulin or even with insulin I don't think I have in my life so for that to happen within three days of just being here it was 
It was amazing. It it was amazing. Yeah. <laughs>